Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Applicata Biblia. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about study. And uh, this is something that, you know, a lot of, it turns us all off that to one, at one point or another. We think about school and studying for whatever, you know, some kind of test or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about. We can all read the Bible, right? And reading the Bible is essential to our lives uh, as far as helping our faith grow and understanding God and all of that. But study takes it a step further. And essentially, what we're doing is looking for those deeper meanings behind the word. And sometimes that takes us into all kinds of different directions, and we're going to be talking about that. So I just wanted to say, first and foremost, get into a, a habit of reading your Bible. Maybe just select a book, select a short book if you want, and just read it. Um, but it's better to read for a purpose. And that purpose is, of course, understanding the things that that God wants us to do and be, to be better in our lives and for him. And then graduate from reading to studying the word. And we're going to talk about, that's what this, this uh, playlist is about, is about studying the word. And essentially what you're looking for are several different things. And we're going to get it into that and into these next, these next uh, videos. You need to understand, I need to understand history. I need to put myself first into the skin of the people who are listening. And I need to understand that I'm not better than them. I'm like they are. I'm in the same boat with them. When I'm reading about people sacrificing their children putting them through the fire of Molech. I'm not better than them. I'm like them. And I need to understand these things. And I, when I'm looking at the scriptures and studying it, I need to change my attitude uh, if I'm thinking that I'm better than anyone. I need to understand this first and foremost. I need to humble myself before God. And God is not telling us these things in scripture so, so that we can point a finger at people. He's telling us these things because it's us. So that's the first thing for studying that we need to have. We have to have the proper attitude for God. Praying before we study is a good habit to have as well because it puts our mind, again, in the proper mind. We have a proper mindset. When we're going to God in prayer, we are humbling ourselves before God. And doing that before we study and before we read the scriptures is very important. Now, the other thing I would suggest is that you block out a time. Now, if you only have like, look, uh, look, I can't do this every day. Well, God wants you to read every day. But if you can't do it every day, for whatever reason, try to do it once a week. Try to do it once a week. Now, I would say this, uh, if you could get up five minutes earlier in the morning, just read five minutes in the morning, right? You know, you know if, you sit if you have breakfast before you go, if, you're having, if you like to sit down for five minutes and have coffee before you go to work, open your Bible and just read it. And just mark where you stopped and then pick up there the next day and just read it. But to study, you have to block out a longer amount of time and read all those notes in your Bible about the people that God is writing to. Whoever it is, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the, the Ephesians or maybe it's the people uh, uh, who, who had a king and they were sinning or whatever. And you know maybe there's a little synopsis about that in, in your Bible that tells you about that. Those are all very helpful. But block out some time. That's the first thing. Just blocking out some time. And if you've got kids, it's not easy. I get it. But get some quiet time. Try to make it a, try to make it a half hour. 
get, get eSword and get yourself a pad of paper, get a notebook, and whatever you're going to study, just make it a book or something like that. Make it a short book and start taking notes and start studying those words as well. Now, you don't have to go crazy and study every single word, but when you read something, question one of the words you're looking at just to see if it's exactly the same thing as you understand it. And, and I'm, I'm going to guarantee you, you will find a, a deeper depth of the words and the meanings. And thus, by that, you will find a deeper meaning of God's word in and of itself. And read those little notes inside your, inside your Bible that tell you about the people and that sort of thing. Tell you about the date when it was written. All these things are important. And we're going to get into all this stuff. Again, thank you for coming. Keep reading your Bible. God bless you. See you later. Thank you.